What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor DVDJ and use code YOURBOYBUGS for 10% off a checkout. And yeah man, check them out. What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video, and guys, today... We're going to go over some things. We're going to go over how to snipe. We're going to go over a little bit of market talk and whatnot. But yeah, a lot of people have been asking me, yo, how the hell do I snipe? Like, I'm new to the game. I don't know what to do. And honestly, I guess we could say I got a little beginner video for you guys as well as some market talk. Um, but yeah, guys, last night we ended up getting KD. I mean, it wasn't a good idea, but I had to do it. And yeah, I'm kind of broke. So since I have no MT, we're going to go over some snipe filters and some ways how to snipe and pretty much how to snipe in general for you guys. So yeah, let's get into it. And guys, if you guys could get 120 likes on this video, we'll give away some MT, we'll give away some codes, whatever you guys want. As long as the streak continues, bro, on the weekends, I usually do my giveaways on Twitter. So make sure to follow my my uh, Twitter down below. And uh, yeah, man. So without further ado, let's get into it. And also, if you need MT, hit up my sponsor. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's get into it. Right now, bro. Honestly, the market's dead. There's really nothing going on in 2K, and I honestly do not think there will be any content dropping until maybe Thursday, Friday. So, L's in the chat for that. That is such a big L. And also, let me know what you guys, what kind of videos you want to see down below in the comments. I really want to, like, upload what you guys want. Like, you guys got me here, so might as well listen to what you guys want. So, a lot of stuff has been asking how to snipe. So, first step to sniping. First off, it depends what you're sniping. Um, if you're a beginner and you have like 10k MT, what you want to do is pretty much focus on diamonds. So if you guys are new to my team, bronze is the worst, silver, gold, that's how it goes to tiers. They're pretty much in order on the auction block right here. So obviously bronze is the worst, obviously best is Galaxy Opal. So if you are new to my team, I would recommend hitting up the Amethyst or Diamond Filter, personally Diamond Filter. But I think this is really good too. So what you want to do, since diamonds are cheap, you want to put your maximum buyout to around, I would say 4,000 MT. You want to make sure nothing pops up. So maximum buyout is one of the main focuses when you're going for diamonds, but then I'm going to show you something else. So as you can see, there is an Earl Monroe for 4K. So what you want to do, you want to avoid that. You want to drop your buyout to around 4K. Oh, right there. Uh, yeah, that's gone. So right there, I just missed a snipe. For a Jamal Mashburn, he probably goes for like 6K. Missed out on a decent amount of MT right there. So now, what you want to do, since you are going for a um, a buyout of 4,000, you want to raise your maximum bid to whatever you want, as long as it's above 4,000 buyout. That's literally it. Like that is literally all you have to do. Um, you don't really have to touch your minimum buyout. You don't really have to touch your minimum bid. All I really recommend is touching your maximum bid. So maximum bid. Okay, Earl Monroe isn't a snipe. You also need to know prices. So, like, pretty much anything that pops up other than Ermon Rowe is a snipe. So, since you are on this filter, honestly, I'll put it down one more. Since you are on this filter, pretty much anything that pops up that is, isn't is Ermon Rowe, you want to buy. And this is how you refresh. You pretty much just go to maximum bid. You could raise it. You could down it. It doesn't matter. As long as you constantly move the bidding. as That's literally it. You could even move your maximum buyout. It doesn't matter. But you never want your maximum bid lower than your buyout because that makes no sense. So honestly, this is what I like to do. Raise my maximum bid and whatnot. That's pretty fire. Now, if you have a lot of MT and you're also a beginner, we're going to go over some other snipe filters that you should try. Um, I know a lot of you guys really do want to get go big or go home. So this snipe filter is obviously money. I was watching Young Simba. And he was refreshing on this filter right here. For all you people that have like 2K, 1K MT, this filter is for you. Maximum bid, maximum bio 600, maximum bid 10,000. Bro, he was getting snipes every second. No joke. Like he did a 10 minute snipe challenge with a timer and everything. And I never, I couldn't believe it. Like I don't know if it's a PS4 thing, but bro, nothing gets posted on this filter on Xbox. Like I swear. Quick or not quick, bro. I sat on this filter for hours one time and barely nothing good popped up. He got a Derek Jones Jr. for 500 MT. Don't ask me how, but yo, this filter right here, five 600 bio, whatever pops up, you buy. It doesn't matter what the hell it is. It doesn't matter if it's a bronze. You're still going to make a decent amount of MT. 
Even if you make 50 MT, bro, it's better than just doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? Um, but if you do end up sniping a diamond, pink diamond, galaxy opal, you are dubbing out. But I don't know why he he got a snipe. Every time we refresh, something popped up. And I'm just sitting here trying to find one. But of course I can because, you know, that's my luck. But uh, what you going to do, bro? Like, straight up. But anyways, let's get into the, the bigger go home. So if you guys are new to the game and you don't know, like, if you have a lot of MT somehow, you don't know what the hell's going on. Bro, Pink Diamond Moments Power Forward is probably the most money snipe filter of all time. I personally, I don't really snipe that much. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I work all day, so I really don't snipe that much. But it's maximum buyout 100k, minimum buyout 500k, and you want to keep raising your minimum buyout because if you do raise your max bid, it's not going to work if something pops up for 100k because everybody on this filter is over 100k. And also... If you're new to this game and you have a card, you pull a pink diamond Giannis and you go on the auction and you see his buyout is it? you can't put his buyout up. Like, uh, this is why people post snipes, okay? People, so as you can see, bro, you pull this moments pink diamond Giannis, right? You're new to the game. You're like, why does he, why does his buyout only go up to 100K? Bro, you do not post his buyout for 100K. Wow, he went up a lot. Whoever has this card, I would ref freaking recommend selling him. But yo, as you can see, there's no buyouts on him. Why? Because 2K only makes you sell the cards with a 100K buyout. So another tip for you guys, if you do pull a card and you see no buyout on him, put him up for a 100K bid or any bid that you want. Because if you don't put him up for a bid, you're going to lose a ton of MT. If you put this card up for 100K, he goes for like 350, 400 then you're gonna take a L, you know what I'm saying? So please, if you do get a sick car and there's no buyout, make sure to put them up for a bid only. Do not touch the buyout. Another tip for you guys, if you are new to this game, that is how people have been posting snipes. So make sure you're not one of those people to post the snipes and make sure you know pricing. That's another tip. Um, also, so Pink Diamond, Moments Power Forward. Everybody's been tweeting at me that this filter is really good. Shout out to one of my subs for this filter. I say it in almost every video. It's actually that good. So literally on this filter, if you get anything for 100k or below, you're going to make a ton of MT. Zion is the only one that's not that much money. But other than that, bro, Kawhi is 200. Giannis is 300 plus. Uh, Aaron Gordon's 120 plus. Zion's 120 plus. So pretty much whatever you get on this filter, you're going to make a minimum of 20k profit. So what I would recommend, putting your buyout to around 100k and your minimum buyout to whatever you want. And uh, just keep refreshing on the minimum buyout. Whatever you want to do, man. If you get anything on the snipe filter, you must thank me because this is one of the best snipe filters in the game. If you have 100k or 100k or more, this is one of the best snipe filters in the game. If you get Giannis, bro, congratulations. You just made 300k, bro. Straight up. I need to get Giannis. I need that Giannis, bro. I'm, if you don't know, I'm such a big Giannis fan. I literally bought his jersey when he got drafted. And not only that, I'm Greek as well. And he is the GOAT in the Greek community. Like, straight up. He's the GOAT in general. He's going to win MVP this year. His betting odds just went from plus 500 to minus 1,200. If you know what that means, it means if you bet $1,200 on Giannis, you're only going to get $100. That's how guaranteed his MVP is at this point. At least betting-wise. I think he's pretty much clinched MVP. But, yo, right now, I don't know what's going on with 2K. I don't think we're going to see any new content coming forward. And honestly, bro, there's there's like it, the the market's dead. Like straight up, if you have any Galaxy Opals, whatever you want to do, I honestly think we're in trouble. Like honestly, with there with this being no content, I feel like it's honestly hurting the market. Honestly, I feel like the market isn't even going up that much. 2K just really just wants to crash. Like I don't know, man. Something just telling me the market just wants to crash. It's dying to crash. So. Hopefully, we do see a crash, and it's crazy how stuff actually is going down. Like, straight up, right now, I'm kind of confused on what's going on. But, bro, also, if you are a new a sniper and you're new, Amethyst Filter, bro, 2K, <coughs> whatever pops up, you buy. Um, also, if you have, like, 20K MT, I would try to invest in Reggie Jackson's. He's an Amethyst for the low, and I really do believe he should go up in price. So, honestly, Amethyst, bro, if you have some MT... I would recommend putting your buyout, your minimum buyout, or your maximum buyout over 1850 and just keep refreshing on this filter. If you want to get anything for other, I would say anything other than Reggie Jackson, unless you get a Reggie Jackson for 1500 NT, it's pretty W. But yeah, that's really all I got for the video. Um, market's not looking too deadly. Kind of interesting. I don't know. I don't like it at all. I don't like the look of this market. But yeah, other than that, I think that's a snipe. 
Oh, wow. I think I just missed that. I think I just missed a snipe on Eric Gordon, unless he did drop. Wow, I did miss a snipe. So, he just sold her 20-something K, and I missed a nice 10K snipe. Well, oh, all right. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if this does work out. I really hope you did enjoy. Hope you guys dropped a sub, like the video, and whatnot. If you guys want to see any videos, let me know down below. But other than that, that's really all I got. Thank you guys for coming out. Hope you guys did enjoy. Have a good one, guys. See you in the next one. Peace.